guys! I'm excited to be back with a new series. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an intro here. It's my office organization series. I have been putting off my office organization basically since we moved in. I kind of organized it when we moved in and then as you probably know I used to call this room my craft room but it's really turned into more of a functioning office for me especially lately which is what has finally been the pushing motivator for me to get my act together and really make this room organized and neat and orderly so that I can function in it and use it for work related things. Um, because basically it's just kind of become a catch all for things I don't know where to put in the house, um, which is no good. And I did used to call it my craft room because I used to craft more in it, craft more in it, but I don't really have as much time to craft anymore and I've really been enjoying and looking forward to using it more as a working space. So, that being said, I wanted to take you guys along with me during my journey. I'm not going to be doing so much before tours and stuff because I've already posted before looks at this space. You can search for them on this channel, Craft Room, Before Tours, I'm pretty sure that's what they were called. It's basically just messy. So I'm just going to show you my finished results kind of piecemeal. I've been working through the room piecemeal and I've been starting with my desk organization which is obviously what I've been using the most um, in terms of like a workstation as a working station and I thought I would start by just showing you little bits of the rooms and I'm starting with my desk obviously so today I'm going to share specifically from my desk my filing organization this has been long requested um, of course I can't, I had to kind of block out a lot of the file tab names to protect um, our privacy, um, you know, certain bank names and things like that that I just don't feel comfortable sharing, but I'm going to go through the filing system with you now and show you how I file, and I'll talk a little bit about uh, my filing process as I do that. So I hope you guys are looking forward to this series. I'm really looking forward to it because it means that I am giving myself these deadlines to complete it, and I'm going to be working through this office organization series for the next few weeks. Uh, posting videos with you guys. So let's uh, jump in. I will show you my filing project. Oh, I just want to say also additionally that coincidentally the Container Store is having their Work Smart Office sale right now. When does this go through? Um, March 24th. Is that right? I don't know. I'm not quite sure when when the sale ends maybe in just like a week or so it seems like but a lot of their um, office things are on sale and I actually did purchase quite a few things for my desk in particular during the sale so I thought I would share with you at the beginning of each video depending on what part I'm showing you I'd show you what I purchased so I actually had a lot of my filing things on hand already. I keep this bin in my closet. This, as you can see, it's labeled hanging folders. I really should just say filing folders. It's, it's not all hanging folders. And in that bin, I have three types of folders. I have these just sort of rear run of the mill file folders. They're not hanging or anything. They're in three different, or three. They're in, they used to be in five different colors. I ran out of the purple ones, I think. And they coordinate with my uh, hanging for folders in terms of colors. They're from Office Depot. They're just the Office Depot brand of folders. Um, and I just like having these on hand because I use them to file within filing folders, which you will see. I also have a backup box of the filing folders I mainly use, and these are again from the Office Depot brand. They come in five extra color, in five colors. Um, and I bought these a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure they usually have something like this in stock. These are just all letter sized things. And then the last thing I have is this box of um, two, inch bottom, two inch box bottom hanging folders, which I use for filing much larger bunches of paper, which you will see as well. So these I always have on hand at any given time so I can add or change up my filing system as it becomes necessary. So I didn't need to purchase any filing folders because I have plenty and I have a label maker as the other tool I used for this um, to update my filing system. The only thing I purchased was this little 13 pocket accordion receipt file. It's on sale from $5.99 to $3.99 and I'm using this right now to house my um, 
access accessory receipts that I that for like a uh, big investment accessory receipts like expensive handbags, our guitars, golf clubs, jewelry. Um, I keep receipts on hand generally for about two months. Um, for my, my, like, all receipts I ever have, and I have a different system for that, and I'll show you guys that in a different video, but, um, investment receipts, you know, for nice jewelry, etc., I like to keep forever, and so I bought this just to help keep them all together in one place, because they were starting to get a little unruly in the box. I just left the, um, label on so you guys could see what it looked like, but, uh, that was my only purchase from the... A sale for this project. Everything else, like I said, out of hand. And now, without further ado, let's jump in and I will show you my organization of files. So this part of my desk, my main desk is off to the left here. I'm not going to show you today because I'm still a work in progress. But this is to the right side of my working area of the desk and this is where I have my file cabinet. Now this furniture that I have in my office I bought when we moved into the house in 2007 and they still carry it. It's all from Pottery Barn and it's all part of the Bedford Home Office modular set. Um, so it's a nice, it's really nice quality furniture and you can pick and choose your pieces. I have a lot of pieces from the collection. The piece that you're looking right now, that you're looking at, I mean, is the lateral file, file cabinet. Uh, in antique white. All the pieces I have are antique white. And this is where I house all of our filing. I am in, I take charge of bill paying and filing and, and the organization of documents for our home. That's part of my housewife duties. Um, so the top drawer I actually use for my current files and the bottom drawer is for back files. Now I tend to keep every single piece of paper that has to do with our home or bill paying for a long time. I keep most things for on average about seven years. Certain things such as tax documents, end of year statements, um, anything having to do with home repair um, or personal, you know, big financial things, I keep indefinitely. But for most bills, um, that sort of paperwork, I keep for about seven years. So at any given time, I have uh, one to two years in the top drawer and then about five to six years in the bottom drawer. Now you can see that the uh, drawers are also labeled. I just put little um, cardstock in and label them with clear tape for my label maker. And they are color coordinated as I am want to do. The drawer is divided into two sections and it has these built-in uh, metal rods which hold up the file folders. So it's got two options and I don't have them all in right now but as you can see there are grooves to put in other metal rods and I just have the excess metal rods at the bottom of the filing cabinet so I don't lose track of them um, if you want to do legal style paper filing. Now I don't really have many things that I file of that length um, so I, tend, I just decided to stick with letter style. Um, and and I have them color corded. Now you'll see a lot of these sort of blank blue spaces on my files. I just stuck some sticky notes on top of files that um, were labeled with personal information that I wasn't comfortable sharing. So normally those little blue sticky notes wouldn't be there. Um, just thought I'd throw that out there. So like I said, I do have them color coded. The purple section is mostly home house utilities and anything having to do with house. Our phone bills, I put our cell phone in there, uh, cable, internet, um, power, water, gas, waste management, plumbing, sprinklers, HVAC, that's your you know, your air conditioning, your heat, um, anything having to do with the housework, work I've done in the house, snow removal, landscaping, you name it, it's all in this, this purple section right here. Um, and I do tend to file mostly in this front section because these are all bills or things that rotate frequently. So what I do is every Friday I pay bills and do the filing. So I have a specific part of my desk where I keep all of those things and then every Friday morning I will sit down, go through the bills, file what needs to be filed. I always highlight the date of the bill. I usually try to highlight the end of the cycle and then I also highlight whatever the total amount is. Now a lot of our bills are on auto pay but I elect to still receive the paper statements because I like to have them on hand. 
Um, it's just the way that I prefer to do things. You have to find what works for you and stick with it. So purple is mostly household related utilities. Now this teal color is credit cards um, and uh, billing for, that has to do with credit cards. So we have several credit cards between me and Don that we use. Um, and then I have a few different store credit cards. I also have put in our gym memberships in this section as well as um, magazine subscriptions and um, what else? Um, you know, uh, other places we subscribe to like the art museum, um, the botanical gardens, those sorts, that sort of information is all in the teal section. And then at the very back in the dark blue section, now that is more just financial institutions or just straight up finances. So in the front of that section, you can't see it because it's all uh, marked off, but it's we have our bank accounts uh, between me and Don and our joint accounts, um, his um, you know, his work, uh, filed that's dedicated to his, you know, paychecks and things like that, his 401k, um, you know, any investments we hold, different holding companies that we have investments with, etc. And then in the very back, I have our, a file for donations. Um, I like to keep, you know, you got to keep track of your donations for tax purposes. Um, so I keep the current year in there. Um, property taxes from the past year and the current year and just general tax information. Don and I get a lot of things in the mail throughout the year that have to do with taxes. We do have an accountant that helps us um, prepare, file our taxes and prepare everything. It helps, really helps I think to have a folder where you can just put everything as it comes throughout the year so when you know late winter early spring rolls around like right now people are preparing their taxes. We actually sent our items off to our accountant uh, about a month ago. At that point it was really easy for me to just yank out the taxes folder, kind of organize it um, by what needed to be faxed to our accountant and what didn't. And then Don, I was able to put that all into a different folder for Don to take to work, tweak the fax, and then when he brought back the original documents, put everything back in, so I have it all in one place. Now like I said, I don't keep um, all of the documents in here from all seven years that I keep things. I keep the past calendar year, so right now I have all of 2012 and then 2013. Now when 2013 comes to a close, so next January, January 2014, I will take all the 2012 documents out and I will put them below in my back file, in the drawer below has all my back files, and then I'll take out the, the, the oldest year from that and um, shred it and discard of it so I have seven years total at any given time. This back section has more personal, not really financial or um, bill related documents. So in the maroon is really just um, personal health and care and sort of miscellaneous things. So I have um, files for all of our different health things specific to uh, me and Don. I have them separated. Uh, a file for our health insurance, a file for travel. This one I keep um, some of those smaller file folders in like I showed in the beginning of the video. Um, I like to have, I keep, you know, this isn't all the places we've ever traveled in our lives together, but those are all the places that I have specific items for, like brochures or information or whatever that I wanted to file, keep on file for um, future trips or anything of that nature. That's also where I keep information about future upcoming trips, like to Utah or to Disney World, um, that sort of thing. And then we have some old you know, some important uh, things from school that I didn't want to lose track of, miscellaneous folder, always important to have a miscellaneous folder because there's just sometimes a few things that you just don't know where to put uh, that don't really require their own folder, a folder for church, folders for Winnie, folders for the Raven Foundation, um, we do subscribe to a lot of uh, theater and dance uh, subscriptions, so I have a place for that. And then in the back, it's sort of... Um, more receipt oriented uh, or manual oriented uh, folders. I don't keep all of our manuals in here. I have our household manuals on the first floor in a different organization which I will show at some point in a video. But here I have things about our cars, a car insurance, AAA, tickets, speeding tickets and things that Don has received over the years. Not many but just a couple. We gotta keep that stuff on file. Our cars, um, 
And then uh, computer, printer, scanner, other electronics, audiovisual. These are just receipts, really, appliances in our house, um, receipts for furniture, receipts for outdoor stuff. Um, art in our house and decor, just kind of miscellaneous brochures that I like to have. And then at the back there is the uh, accessories folder, and that's where the little um, accordion style pouch that I bought at the container store comes into play. So in this accessories pouch is all my accessories receipts, which are now housed in this nice accordion file, and it just makes it really easy to access things. In the bottom here, I have our back files. It's labeled as such. And this is where, like I said, I have all of the older documents, mainly from 2005 through 2011. That's what I have on back file right now. When 2013 ends, I will pull out and shred the majority of the 2005 documents that are not ones that I keep indefinitely, and I will put the 2012 ones in here. So I just have them sort of labeled just as I do above. Um, you can see I use a lot of those bigger file folders in here just to be able to house that much paper. Some of our uh, the things that we have more information for, like certain bank accounts and credit cards, I have used um, f binder clips and labeled them by the year just to keep better track of them. And I kind of have them organized as I do up top. So the front is household utilities and cr you know credit card bills, banks, etc. And then the back is more... Um, sort of more miscellaneous things and the first half is still financial stuff all of our taxes and such since 2002 um, as well as bank accounts that are closed we don't have anymore uh, and landscaping and things we've had done to the home and then old cars that we don't have anymore and in the back we have old health things and as well as um, I still have some uh, information from our condo which we moved out of in 2007 and I'm just keeping those for a couple more years um, it just to keep in my uh, seven year holding on to things um, sort of policy now I don't think that's official that you have to hold on to documents for seven years that's just what I do but this is a really easy system for me it's so easy at the beginning of the year to just kind of pull out the 2005 things I have everything that's in a folder in here that's a year like an annual sort of document you know that I have a whole bunch of from a year I have them clipped together somehow so obviously you can see the ones with the binder clips the smaller the thinner folders I just have the papers clipped together with a paper clip and a sticky note on top that says the year. You can't see that because they're filed this way. And again, I have to protect our privacy. But it's just a really easy way for me to file and keep track of all of our paperwork in a way that makes me feel comfortable. Well, that's my filing system and how I organize my filing. Now, to be honest, I didn't do a lot of work to my filing system. I did update um, I hadn't had a chance to move my annual things down, you know, my seven-year backup system down to the back file area yet, so I did do that, and I just kind of cleaned things up, and um, I think you have to do that every few years, even if you have a really organized filing system. It's just kind of clean things up sometimes. File folders need to be replaced or whatever, and that's why I like having my little stash of folders on hand. Um, so that was my first video for my or office organization series. I'm really, really excited, if you can't tell, to be sharing this with you. I'm going to be showing you my computer desk area next. Um, hopefully I will be back really soon with that and hopefully next week for sure. And um, in the meantime, I'd love to know how you organize your filing, how you keep on top of that, how many years you hang on to papers for. Like I said, I don't think you have to hold on to things for seven years. I don't know where I got that idea from, but it's just what I do that makes me feel comfortable. Um, you know, being a, an adult that lives with my husband and not my parents anymore for the past um, almost eight years. Well, I've, yeah, I've lived with Don for eight years um, permanently. It's just you learn what makes you comfortable as time goes on, and that's, that's what works for me. So I'd love to know what works for you if you care to share. Please let me know in the comments. Um, and uh, I hope you guys are excited for my organization uh, series, and I will be back soon to show you my desk. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye.